So, so to answer your question, is it acceptable to speak to us? I'm not going to make an excuse for my speeding, but I am going to tell you I wasn't aware of it. So if you had, if you, had you said it, what? Because I just looked at my GPS. Did you read that? You had the auto pass? You were going 50. Right by Muscovy Road? By Muscovy? No. I passed it at Muscovy. No, you didn't. Pass me north of the maintenance shop for the truck as well. Coming 48, 49 Is that a marked spot or unmarked? Unmarked spot. I passed you by the scope. I did not, sir. I might be wrong, but I just looked at the GPS because honestly. There's not a lot of cars out here, Scott. No, so I got it. I, so I, 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 didn't, uh, I didn't even look down, obviously, because I saw you and I noticed unmarked spot pass me the silver one, the Tahoe. I mean, if I, if I was going that fast and I knew that, I would slow down. Enough. I don't come out here very often. I'm not out here very often. You're welcome to go through this stuff. I, sir, this is my insurance. I mean, if you want, I have everything I need. It's insured. I mean, I'm assuming it's insured for your company. You have a license. You have a license. Right? Correct. It's a license. It's a state required. You have to see, yeah. So, I agree with you. And my issue is, is that if you pass me, oh, you were all 50. Oh, no. It breaks. Whatever. I turned around on you. You're still going through all the way through the village. A mile and a half. Because I didn't realize I was going so so answer this question for me yes, sir. You can. so when ken weber's trucks and silver lake's trucks and everybody's trucks are doing 15 20 miles an hour over all over through here i mean i have videos of it you have videos of it fine but it's so fine. so you're, you're gonna you're gonna stop those people or are you gonna favor but them because they go for it any of those people told me. Silver Lake does. Silver Lake does, but you mentioned Ken Weber's and someone else. I mean, regardless of who it is, and, 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 it, and nobody should get a free pass, per se. That's not what I'm saying. But as a common courtesy, I haven't had a warning in 10 years. Okay. Yes, I'm on probation. Yes, I have a, a lengthy criminal record. Friendly reminder, by the way, make sure the probation part is mentioned in the beginning. You really didn't give me a chance, really. A lot of time when you have rules, you want to make sure, hey, just Oh, I just did. I, I have nothing to hide. I had a shitty divorce. It was nasty. It is what it is. You're doing better. I'm doing great. I haven't drank in about six months, at least. Is that kind I mean, of a common denominator? Oh, yeah. Of this? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, in my past, yes. It is for a lot of people. So, but you can recognize it. when you're going through a nasty divorce and she's trying to take everything you have, it is what it is. You know, drinking doesn't help. Don't get me wrong. It's a bad thing to do. What I'd recommend that you do is court date on this is in December. I'm going to fight it. I said, I'm going to fight it. But I would like, if you don't mind, I'd like to see uh, see your radar, if I can. I don't have to show that to you. You don't have to show me the radar? I don't have to show that to you. That's a lot. Okay. Fair enough. Well, same direction roll, not to mention the first time I hit the radar. I was going to take you down, block it, you going 50 down the hill and see your direction. I think my video should start right around the country. Well, I think it might turn down. My GPS shows 42 and 47, so. You're welcome to come to court, but that's still the same violation, 11 to 50 miles over the speed not to mention in our contact, you committed to me multiple times that you were speeding and it's not acceptable. I told you I didn't know how fast I was going. Okay. And I wasn't aware if I was speeding. Well, either way, but, Scott, but to be fair and honest, is... I looked on GPS to see if I actually was. Mm -hmm. Because, for one, it's known that we don't tell for you guys and I'm not liked out here, and that's fine. I don't care. I've never met but, you before in my life, so. I, Not you personally, but oh. there's other people in Shaniqua that maybe it's changed now. I haven't been out here forever. I honestly haven't traveled this road and got probably 10 months. I drive on the freeway in 94 of my shops out in Dallas. So I'm, I'm always aware. There. I've driven by that. No, I'm always on the freeway. I've never heard of you in my life. So. Very, very seldomly do I come on these back roads. Okay. And it's been a long time. So I'm just being straight with you. Okay. And but, I've never met you before in my life. So I got no animus to you one way or another. You don't look familiar either to me. So <laughs> that's probably a the good face thing. face this ugly you'd recognize, right? Likewise. Okay. My point is, just so you understand where I'm coming from, I give you a warning because, hey, you're this tow guy, whatever. Did you, you see my dog take a piss that was sitting in here whining to right in front of your squad? That's correct. You can also pass the park people holding their feet. Just south of North 26 West, So with my history, my lengthy record that you just heard about when you ran me, you think that's appropriate for my dog to be pissing in a park? Somebody's going to screw with me. And in my opinion, if, if, I, hey, hold on. if I was in Heartland, if I was in Heartland and my dog pissed on the sidewalk, they're gonna give me a fucking ticket. That's how that works out there. We don't, we're not friends. It is what it is. I'm very good at my job. I enjoy what I do, and I'm not gonna stop doing it. But we don't go on. 
you know. Oh, I do. I like to get along with the cops. That's why I have the Blue Lives Matter on my truck, except for this one. You're in the business of the Correct. Correct. Fine. But, uh, you got a card? Let me finish my point here. Sure. So ultimately, for me to give you a warning just because of the business you're in, would be a disservice to the other 500 people that get a speeding ticket from me every year. You want to the tow company. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. So... I'm gonna be completely honest with you and tell you I appreciate your service and what you're doing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disrespect or disregard what you're doing right now. Because you're probably doing your job. Do I like it? No. Not right now I don't. However, there's to, to me in my my opinion, there's 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 cops and police and there's tyrants. Okay? No disrespect. Like, I'm not calling you tyrants, so don't think of it that way. Okay. So there's there's people that bend rules. And I'm not asking for that. I'm saying, for instance, the town of Oconomowoc, giving giving uh, law enforcement people that total out cars drunk free passes. So I think that's a little more serious than a tow truck that's speeding or hypothetically could have been going to a state patrol that was asked to expedite. You don't know that. You know what I mean? Is that what you're saying? Or you that's saying not. That's not what I'm saying. Because I'm not gonna lie. So what we're doing right now is what they call an internet threat drift, right? Kind of moving away from the original oh, stuff. Uh, You're getting a citation. The traffic is going to be about 50 and a 35, which I had you doing. As I said, you before, sell the meat and shop for 83 and 100 plus. Right before you hit Beaver Lake Road. How many tow trucks have you rode through? I'm sorry? How many tow trucks have you rode through? Oh man, I think the last one was Valdera's about 78 years ago. Really? Yep. Fair enough. So you just, five over? just picked me tonight. No, I didn't know you were a tow truck until I pulled you over. You didn't tell me when you were coming back in out of Illinois? All right. What you're fishing for, but I can tell you this. Well, I'm not fishing. I just. No, I, uh, I, I, I right. Back to toy store. Let me tell you this, guy. You know, I, 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 I just. I, it's I, it's I, back. You, 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 you have, and, I, and I, 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 I was, I was kind of poking at it. And I, I'm a very good, very good at reading people. So, I think you're doing your job. I'm not mad at you. I, I, I'm a little disappointed that for 16 years and probably for about 11, I haven't had a traffic stop or a ticket, which you just saw. I'd recommend you come to the court date on it. Well, I will be there. I've written a lot of people. We'll probably hang out them. and maybe we can fight it together or whatever. But, I mean, in all reality, maybe the speedometer is even off. I don't know. And if it is, come to court with that information. Okay, it's got 12,000 miles on it. So it's certainly know, relevant. To dodge. All right. Do you have any questions, concerns, no, comments? No, sir. I'm good. Have a better evening. Uh, safety, sir. Did you leave a card in here, too? There is a card in here. I have All right. Thanks, sir. You have a good night. Stay safe. I said have a good night. Stay safe, sir. Yeah, yeah, uh, 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 u